Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we went to the Summer Festival, had some fun with Yuko, and we also experienced a bit of the uh, Film Festival that's going on. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and continue that and talk with Hiraga here and go and watch a movie with him. Just because I want to see all of the different scenes of us watching movies with characters, even though it doesn't really get us anything in the long term, it's just a fun thing we can do. Movie, maybe? Sorry for reaching out on such short notice. There's a movie out right now that's been getting some critical acclaim regarding its artistic direction. I'm sure it'd help with your charisma, too. So this is definitely for charm. I might have bought an extra ticket, and I was wondering if you'd like to come along. Let me know. Sure thing, buddy. Sorry to make you wait. Shall we? All right, the coffee's brewed, and the beans are Kilimanjaro. So much beautiful scenery in the movie. I feel like I've sharpened my aesthetic sense. Unbelievable. To think we trekked almost six kilometers for this one cup of coffee. It truly is a Wow, that was a spectacle for the ages. I'm so glad we came. Well, we should probably head back. I parted ways with Hiraga and went back to the dorm. So days are passing by really fast now. I, rem I remember in previous episodes, we would only get through like one or two days, but now we're at August 19th. So we've only got a couple more weeks until the next full moon. Sup, dude? Damn, it's hot. I'm sweating like a pig over here, man. No. Stay strong, Yori. The heat will only affect you if you allow it to. Of course, there are limits to that theory. Uh... Ooh, Yukari wants to hang out? I forget what if we finished up her thing. Uh, Junpei, what you reading? Damn, it's hot. Why is it so hot inside, too? Help, I'm melting. This storm was built some time ago, so the air conditioning unit doesn't work very well. It's usually tolerable, but today, I can understand why Yori is griping so much. So, where's Koromaru? He's over there. He's content at the moment. I don't think anyone else is doing anything at the moment. Anything new in the command room? Ooh, new recording. Nice. August 13th, 2009. Uh, 2241.19. Starting playback. It looks like Sonata's room. Ugh, damn it. I still can't stop thinking about what happened in Yakushima. You're telling me I can't carry a conversation any better than Junpei? How can I be on the same level as that idiot and his lame pickup lines? Are you able to make others laugh with a well-timed joke? Well, no specific examples come to mind, but I think I at least do that much. Careful, making others laugh and being laughed at are two entirely different things. <sighs> When people speak to you, do you tend to respond with pure logic and reason? This is a common mistake among inarticulate men. Try to consider what the other party is feeling first. <laughs> oh, damn it. I guess they've got a point. Try practicing by imagining you're asking a female friend or colleague to your favorite store. Remember, it's important to smile and have a sense of humor. Huh. Um, uh, hey there. Uh, what great timing to see you here. Nice one. I'm going to, uh, Umiushi. <laughs> Wanna come with? Oh, humor. Uh, humor. Y you know the beef bowl place? Uh, hey. Maybe we could meet up there, huh? Get it? <clears throat> what am I, the chairman? Screw this. That's one of my favorites, just Akihiko absolutely struggling with, you know, conversation, which is something I can definitely relate to and just... Yeah, just that whole scene is great. We don't got anything else going on this evening, so... Let's see if Yukari wants to hang out with us. I forget if we finished up her thing, but if not, we can do that now. Oh, last vol volume, so this is probably the end of her thing. It's been a wild ride, Mom. Sad the story's ending. I can't wait to watch how they wrap things up. Let's watch the finale. Yes. We're finally 
finally at the last episode. I wonder how it's going to end. You know, about this series? I mentioned before how it caught my attention, but I was afraid it might be too scary for me. But I'm glad I watched it. Guess it's important to break out of your comfort zone sometimes. Do you ever try watching things from genres you don't normally get into? Bring it on. Oh, wow. <laughs> I could learn a thing or two from you. Trying out all kinds of shows seems like a good way to find hidden gems. Watching this together made me realize how much I appreciated the main character. Like how she can't turn a blind eye to people in need and extends her hand to almost anyone. And of course the way she kept pressing forward no matter what happened. It was so inspiring. Come to think of it, isn't she just like you? <laughs> that might be a stretch. Remember how I told you about that girl I was close to who started ignoring me one day? It's not like I did anything to make her hate me. We'd been friends for a long time, but one day out of the blue, she just said, my mother told me I can't play with you anymore. It's because there were rumors floating around about my parents. I kind of get it now, looking back, but at the time, I was just sad. But what I'm trying to say is, this show made me realize I'd like to be a little more like the main character. I want to be the kind of person who'd help anyone at any time. Someone who's kind and strong. It might be silly to say I look up to a fictional character, but there's no harm in following her example. At least, that's what I think. Yukari has been inspired by the, protag the protagonist of the show we watched on DVD. What new ability are you getting? Healing Apex reduces the SP cost of recovery skills to 25% of their normal SP cost. That's awesome! Oh! The last episode's starting! That ending was so good! I hope they'll make a sequel. By observing the main character, I've begun to understand the charm of an adult. I'll bring more DVDs I'm curious about next time. Oh, it's about time we head back to our rooms. Have a good night, okay? But yeah, I, I feel like I can definitely relate to that whole, like, looking up to a fictional character sort of thing. Um, one that immediately comes to mind is... Oh. Yeesh. This is a scorcher. I'm shutting up for this seat. This is important. Oh man, it's already the 20th? Summer break's almost over. Not that I got anything to do. You think with special powers, the rest of the world wouldn't be so boring? Hmm? <sighs> What's she doing? Drawing? She's some kind of caricature artist? Nah, no way. There's no one around for her to draw. What the heck is she drawing then? There's nothing interesting here. Out of the way. You're blocking my view. Move. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, what's with those funky colors? What do you want? Uh, nothing. My bad. Dude, how can she stand to wear that crazy outfit in this heat? And what was up with that weird drawing? I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Huh. Oh well. Hmm. I guess she's someone we'll have to keep our eye on. Something I was gonna say before the cool scene started. But going back to what Yukari said, I totally relate to, um, I totally relate to, like, looking up to the protagonist of, like, a cool series you really like. The one that immediately jumps to my mind is, uh, Kiryu from the Yakuza slash Like a Dragon series. Because he's also really, really cool, and he cares deeply for other people, and he's really open-minded and just so awesome. But that made me think about how recently there was a Yakuza slash Like a Dragon uh, TV show that released called Like a Dragon Yakuza, um, which I think is kind of a funny title. That show released in Japanese. The English dub voice actor for Kiryu is Alex Lee, 
who voices Makoto Yuki, the protagonist of this game. So that's kind of a funny little coincidence there. So in between episodes, I looked up how to use the, what was it called? The the uh, antique store. I keep forgetting the name of that thing for some reason. And it has to do with Monad doors. So maybe next time we go to Tartarus, I'll check out some of the Monad doors and see if I can figure out a way to get what we need for that one Elizabeth side quest. Uh, I, I, I don't want to make like eating noises into the microphone, so I'll just read the text. Ah, you're finally here, Makoto-kun. Do you want to go get something to eat? I can hear my poor stomach crying woefully. Yes. Wonderful, my gourmet friend. I knew I could count on you, Makoto-kun. I'm not even close to his, like, voice actor, but I don't know, I'm just developing my own voice for him. <laughs> and today's main course is seafood soup, and I know just the place for it. Turning into, like, a 1920s, like, radio announcer or something like that. <laughs> The restaurant is filled with the familiar, the familiar smell of fish. Seven, eight, nine. Shoot, I'm coming up short on my counts. I have to find one more new person. Damn it all! Why doesn't anyone take me seriously? I'm not gonna lose to my brother again. I'll show him. I'll show them all! <laughs> Suimitsu ran to the restroom. It's over. The baby came out good and healthy. Hey, come on! It's your job to laugh at the gourmet king's dumb jokes. <laughs> I don't get it. I was fine up until a minute ago, then suddenly I felt sick. Are you sick? What do you mean? Look at all the nutrition I'm taking in. I'm the paragon of health. Well, except for this gut. Hey, don't you worry about me. This is a trial I have to face before I'm reborn anyway. If I want my place in paradise after this world ends, I have to prove my worth. It'd mean a lot to me if you considered, uh, coming to paradise with me too. Suimitsu seems comfortable having me as a friend. I, I mean, I know I've said this like a billion different times, so I'll, I'll stop, just so I'm not repeating myself constantly. But gosh, he just sucks to talk to. <laughs> ah, the noodles got soggy while my stomach was giving me trouble! You'll have to wait till next time to hear about paradise. But for now, let's just focus on our ramen. Ooh, sir, can I get some rice and dry seaweed? I'll salvage this ramen by turning it into a rice soup! All right, so there should be something here in the evening that we can access. Oh. No. No means no. What's wrong? I am currently negotiating with Koromaru-san. Koromaru-san is prohibited from going out for a walk on his own. There were arrangements for Sonata-san to accompany Koromaru-san on his walk today. However, the scheduled time has passed, and Sonata-san has yet to return. Koromaru-san's patience has reached its limit. <laughs> Koromaru-san is requesting that you accompany him instead. Are you available to assist at the moment? I am. Perfect timing. You are what they call a lifesaver. Koromaru and I left it left the dorm to go for a walk. A non-human persona user. Now that is certainly unique. However, my fascination lies more with you. Good evening. There's no need for hostility. Now is hardly the time. Let's have a little chat. Come along. He doesn't seem to be hostile. What should I do?
What exactly are you waiting for? Now then, I have a question for you. However, just demanding answers from you wouldn't be a very fair arrangement, now would it? I will answer one question of your own first. So, what do you want to know? Why aren't you wearing a top? My coat is invisible to fools. <laughs> but of course I'm joking. What a surprise that you would rather ask about me instead of our group. Perhaps this is a sign that we may reach a mutual understanding. In the beginning, we had no quarrel with you. Had you not decided to eliminate the Dark Hour, we wouldn't have had a reason to interfere. It is truly unfathomable. The power of a persona is a blessing granted only to us. Yet, you insist on ending the Dark Hour, knowing full well that your powers will be lost. Now, answer me this. Why? Are you trying to protect the world from the shadows? That's right. And just where did you come up with that idea? In this country, almost 5,000 people die in car accidents every year. And yet... There is no outcry against the existence of cars. Why do you suppose that is? It is because we value our own convenience over the lives of others. So then, why should we give up the powers we were bestowed? The logic makes no sense. Do you know what a savior complex is? You are being trapped by a misguided way of thinking. We have no obligation to sacrifice what is ours to save others. Giving up your own life to save others is simply a waste. Your reason for fighting is one of obsession. You're wrong. Do you continue to deny it because you can't accept the truth? There is no need to rush your decision. You should think carefully about it. We have been given a special power, and yours, yours is particularly extraordinary. It's as if the Dark Hour has chosen you. Does it really make sense for you to reject this gift? That was all I had to say. Tonight is a new moon. You have ample time to reconsider before the moon waxes full again. With that, my debt to you is paid. Perhaps it might help you make up your mind. Well then, I shall be going. I trust you'll have changed your tune by the next time we meet. It's a folded up piece of paper. There's something written on it. Piece of paper from Takaya. The new gear is easy. The new gear has eased summoning, but we need to make new safety cartridges before handing them off to MK. The evoker weight is also an urgent matter. Fortunately, ample test subjects remain to... I returned to the dorm and reported what happened. Oh, and we just don't get to see... Very interesting. I would have loved to hear, like, what Mitsuru or Aegis or what anyone had to say there. Koromaru we might be able to hang out with for a little bit there, so that's sweet. And hey, uh, t the little hangout with Takaya there didn't even take up any time, so we get to have some bonus time to hang out with everyone else. Hmm. I still can't believe that Strega guy went to the shrine too. And why was he half naked? Is it because it's summer? Hello. One of the members of Strega seems to have taken an interest in you. Sometimes a malicious human can be more dangerous than a shadow. If you should cross paths, I want you to be careful. So we sort of do get a reaction there, just uh... Unlike the large shadows, it is difficult to determine where Strega will appear next. Koromaru-san said, said that we must be very cautious of them. Uh, who's up here? Fuka we could also hang out with. Uh, who do I hang out with? You know what, let's hang out with Koromaru. 
Also, is Yukari not here anywhere? Is she in her room, maybe? Where the hell is she? <laughs> She's not on the rooftop. She's not anywhere in the dorms. Is she out in the city, then? I don't know. I guess we just can't talk to her today for whatever reason. Koromaru, let's hang out. So yeah, alongside watching TV with Koromaru and going on walks with Koromaru, we could also brush him. Koromaru seems content. Maybe I should finish brushing him. It seems Koromaru still wants me to keep brushing him. Okay, just a little more then. Koromaru is patiently waiting for me to keep brushing. Koromaru brought this Trafuri gem. Is he thanking me for brushing him? Koromaru is very happy. Maybe I'll brush his coat again when I have time. So he didn't even rank up a social stat, he just gave us an item, which is very interesting. August 21st. So, this is an interesting date because uh, Tatsuyasuo, who I believe I have mentioned before, uh, has two canonical birthdays. I believe we already passed one. I believe his other birthday is in July. Um, and I think that is his canon birthday. But I want to check the TV just in case there's something here. Nope, Trish isn't here, so... Yeah, his birthday is... His, Tatsuyasuo's birthday is definitely in July. Um, but some sources, uh, or I think like one source said years ago that his birthday was in August, but we, c we can use this game to definitely confirm that the July date is the canon one. Let me think. Uh, it certainly is hot, this place. Even outside of training, this is a temperature where if you don't make sure you hydrate, you'll collapse. I never realized how expensive clothes are. Yukari-san left one of her magazines out, so I got curious and flipped through it. Some clothes look the same, but their price tags are totally different. Hmm. Trendsetters sure have it hard, don't they? It's so hot. I want to eat something that's ice cold. Someone bring me ice cream, please. Ooh, we get to go ahead and uh, hang out at the movies with Yuko today. Summer's almost over. I can't believe it. Summer break's almost over. Why's it gotta end? Haiku by Yuko Nishiwaki. The tournament zapped all my energy, so I think I'll recharge at the movies. I got free tickets for an exciting one. Want to come with? So yeah, we could definitely hang out with Yuko here. Um, speaking of the tournament, uh, it made me think about how uh, Hayase is voiced by Kiryu's voice actor from some of the later Yakuza slash Like a Dragon games. So that technically means that two of Kiryu's three English voice actors are in this game, which is kind of funny to me. Sure, let's hang out, Yuko. Let's go find our seats. This last pitch will mark the end of our summer. I feel inspired by the athletes Give playing their absolute hardest. Everyone in the stadium fell silent. That final pitch was the hardest fastball of the day. Did you see that? That's the result of all my training! Wow, wasn't that great? Now that's what youthful passion looks like. Ah, it's getting dark. Let's head home. After saying goodbye to Yuko, I decided to go back to the dorm. Back. Greetings! The next full moon will occur on September 5th. As such, we have approximately two weeks until our next mission. Oh. Hey, Aichan, you want to go on a mission to get some ice cream? Regarding My records that. indicate the consumption of ice cream may lead to health risks det detrimental to our ability to carry out operations. Oh, no. Jeez, way to ruin ice cream. Anyone want, anyone want to hang out? Yukari, but I already finished her thing. Uh, I guess what do you want to say? In correlation to the rise in temperatures, Junpei-san's requests are also on the rise. His requests have mainly centered around topics such as going to buy ice cream and lowering the air conditioner's temperature. If this continues, Junpei-san will become a lost cause. I will report this to Mitsuru-san at once. Gosh, we've got everyone here, but I already finished up Yukari's thing. Uh, so I guess, unless Tanaka wants to do something, then 
It's time to actually, you know, raise up our social stats. Oh, does Tanaka want to do something? Or is that the old man? You know what, I've made my decision. I'm gonna go ahead and raise up social stats. Once I finish raising up my social stats, I'll dedicate all of my nights. I'll dedicate most of my nights to those two social links. Um, it's such a cliche for adults to complain about how young people look and act. You see articles about it all the time on what's corrupting the youth these days, but that guy kind of begs the question. I'm talking about a young man I saw on the street with, while doing a story. Long hair, bare upper body, tattoos on both arms. Gee, I wonder who she's talking about. You see a person like that, it makes you wonder if the youth really are being corrupted. <laughs> yeah, Takaya, corrupter of youth. We'll keep that in mind for later. But yeah, going back on what I was saying, uh, once I finish up ranking up all of my social stats, I'll pretty much dedicate all of my time to doing those two social links. Uh, so don't worry, we're definitely going to see them at some point. It's just gonna be a bit of a later point in time. Anything cool? Nope. But thanks to our summer school, I feel like we're getting kinda close. I mean, not necessarily close, but you know, made a good dent in our academics. Hey, have you seen Koro-chan? Uh, he went outside. Oh, just when I was about to brush him. Wait, is that bad? Again? He likes to step out front every so often to get some sunlight. Oh, thank goodness. Well, I guess it's not a big deal if he's just basking in the sun. Koro-chan would never bite or bark at people anyway. I agree with you there. However, we still have the responsibility of being his owners. I don't want to restrict his freedom too much, but we still have to be mindful. I've been getting him to come back in whenever I notice he's gone out. Try to do the same if you ever happen to see him outside. Come on, Koromaru. It's time to come in. Responsibility, huh? Yeah, I guess that's true. He may be a Persona user, but he is still a dog. I, if I see Koromaru outside, I should call out to him. We'll definitely be checking outside to see if Koromaru is, you know, hanging out out there and just... And we'll be sure to call him in. I also like to imagine that scene where Yukari is like, he would never bark or bite any people, and he just cut to Koromaru, and he's just like mauling someone. It's like Takai or something like that, just like, oh god, get this dog off of me. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we've only got two weeks left until the next full moon, so we're just gonna spend as much time as we can up in our social links, and then over the course of this next week, we're probably gonna get back into school, so... That's going to be interesting. I'm going to get to see a lot more social links than I can right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.